today we got so much brand new UFL footage, including the first ever official look at how the penalties are gonna be in the game. Before we go into that, there is a lot of brand new updates about the Euro 2024 mode coming to EAFC very soon. The first game of the Euros is gonna be played the 14th of June, but obviously we can expect the game mode to come out a little bit before that, because obviously when releasing it in the summer, I mean, there is only a couple of months left of FC24 and people are probably just tired of playing it. So you can expect the game to probably come out sometime, you know, probably in May. It actually might get released even before that as well. But basically, in this update, we're going to be getting a brand new broadcast package. Obviously, this is going to be great for career mode because right now in career mode, you literally have nothing when it comes to international tournaments. And what you're watching right now is basically how it might look like when obviously the update comes out. But I wish that EA handled these licenses much better than what they do because obviously I know that the tournament officially begins in the summer but the career mode is gonna be so dead for large parts of the game now and obviously it's gonna be great for you know a couple of months but it's towards the end of the game nobody might even play it. Obviously back on FIFA 23 when we had the World Cup mode that was only just for a few months as well and obviously right now in FC24 we do not have any official licenses for any competitions when it comes to international tournaments. I really wish that these licenses could remain in the game, so it would be great on career mode for every single year, but they are going to be milking this hard for the online players on Ultimate Team. They're going to be selling so many packs over the summer, right before the new game drops as well. I don't even understand why people would buy any packs at this stage of the game, but obviously for the offline players, they do not care at all about us, and that's why we don't have any international competitions in the game and yeah this is probably just gonna be another ultimate team payout for them i'm not done talking about the fc24 just yet because a few days ago they released a new update which was nice with a couple of new additions and basically i made a video going through all of the new things and i was like why can i not do the vinicius jr skill move this one right here which they added which it literally says on the website it is because of Vinicius Jr. Well, now I know why it didn't work. Because, obviously, I was using Vinicius Jr. The player the skill is actually invented from. As you can see right there, if you use Vinicius Jr., nothing happens when you actually do the skill move. So, they've added a new skill move that is literally from Vinicius Jr. You can do it, but not with Vinicius. These guys are brain dead, man. I know that they don't watch football, but... This is literally a new level of stupidness. These are the guys behind the biggest football game on the market. No wonder we want new football games. Let's take a look at some new UFL footage. They have dropped some new footage of one of their new stadiums, which is called the Sakura Ground, which is one of the stadiums that we've actually seen since early development. And yet again, these stadiums on the game look absolutely wonderful, and it's gonna be nice to be able to play in some new environments and stuff, you know, not just official football grounds, obviously, they also have that in the game, like official real stadiums, but the fact that they have some, you know, nice areas like this is, um, is really refreshing to be fair, and you can also see some in-game footage, this is not just something that, you know, they have animated or something, this is actually in-game footage, that is something that I really like about the trailers, is that it's always real gameplay, they never like adjust anything too crazy or something, so yeah, from that trailer I have to say, looks really nice. And I did mention at the start of the video that we have the first ever penalty footage of UFL. This is actually the only penalty footage we have ever seen. And I asked them if they could send me some better footage of this because it's not that clear. Uh, but they said this is the best they can do for now. So as we can see guys, this is going to be the new penalty. And uh, I'm really excited about small details like this. You know, uh, we've already seen like how the free kicks are going to be looking like uh, and things like that. But you know, penalties are always like a fun aspect of a football game. So I cannot wait until they release more about this. There is some rumors as well that there's going to be some new stadium updates on FC24 coming soon. Obviously, we have the new Santiago Barnabeu that's been, you know, uh, now redeveloped. And they have this new roof and everything like that, uh, which is really nice. Some people have actually already made this stadium in other football games, and it looks absolutely fantastic. Same goes with the Anfield Road extension. This is also a stadium that obviously has been uh, updated recently, and it would be nice to see it uh, in the game as well. Uh, Obviously, EA, when it comes to stadiums and things like that, they actually 
do get it pretty much spot on, but it can take a long time before it actually gets released, so we'll have to wait and see if this is gonna be coming out in the next updates or if we have to wait until, you know, maybe the next game. We do not know about the exact release date just yet, but right now, there is a lot of people being able to play this on the alpha version, which I've also been offered to do, but I actually want to wait until everyone is able to play it, and uh, then we can all, you know, react to it at the same time. And I also want to be able to finish or play a finished game, not just, uh, you know, an early version of it. Uh, if we go over to FC24, though, let me show you guys something funny. As you can see, the game right now is down 80%, and... You know, obviously the game has been out for a few months, you know, it's no wonder that they have a a, a discount, but the, an EA Sports football game has never been this discounted in March, guys. So this just shows yet again how bad EA FC 24 is doing. I've talked about before that they are so much down in total sales and players uh, compared to previous years, and... Uh, Guys, you can basically get it for free right now, but I would probably not recommend to even buy it because the gameplay is horrible, there's nothing to do. Maybe wait to see if the Euro mode is gonna be anything fun, and probably at that stage the game might be free to play as well, so... Yeah, this game, guys, is literally so dead right now. Look, look at it, $13! How the mighty have fallen. For the past few days, what people have been doing is going back to old FIFA games and literally adding in today's players in these games, modding it a little bit, and it looks so much more fun than what FC24 does. This is literally FIFA 16 gameplay that you're watching, and these videos have been going viral almost for the past few days. Like, people are surprised at how fun this actually looks, and you know, when people are going back to, like, a 10-year-old game and literally playing that instead, when there is still quite a few months left as well of this FC24 cycle, it is not a good look for EA at all. What they should do for FC25 is just like remake FIFA 12. I would be so happy if they did that. That is all that we need and it would be perfect guys and that says a lot about EA Sports as well. I am usually getting very excited at this time of year for the next games to come out but now I have learned from the previous years that there is literally no reason to get excited until we get to play the game ourselves. And if the gameplay is actually good, if there's new additions, then I'm not gonna bother being that much hyped anymore. Because honestly, it's just uh, sad at this point. So there we have it for today, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this new UFL gameplay. And also what you think about the current state of FC24. Please drop a like on the video. I always forget to ask that. But please leave a like on the video, guys. Subscribe if you're brand new around there. And that is it for now. I will see you in the next one.